Hello and welcome to Lord Fenton Gaming Reviews Wasteland Remaster. I am your reviewer, Lord Fenton, and today's review of Wasteland Remaster, we're going to answer the burning question: Is Wasteland Remaster worth your money, or is it where you uh, put the game in the uh, pit where those uh, Atari uh, ET games are at? Well, we're going to find out. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more reviews like this, and do not forget to hit that notification bell. You update my videos and more. So let's go over the good and bad and then the uh, final verdict towards the end of the uh, video here. Let's talk about the character creation. I absolutely love it. It reminds you of those uh, games like the Bard's Tale 1, 2, and 3 when you create your own characters and some of the other older ones like the Might Magic series and uh, more. Also, it does remind you of the 90s games like Bar's Gate 1 and 2, where you roll for random stats until you get what you uh, want. You can also uh, use the default party, but it's better you're in control, which is really good. After uh, you get the attributes, then you uh, get the skills that you want to pick out when you start out, which is uh, really good. I mean, it is really good. And you're in control of creating your own characters, your own team, which is uh, very neat. And that's why I absolutely uh, love so in final right here, I will say the character creation is a great step up. Let's talk about the difficulty of the game right here. When you start out, it's not that difficult, but later on it does quickly uh, ramp up. You got to know what you're uh, doing in this game. That's like seriously important. Also, not only uh, outside can be uh, difficult when you start out, the uh, dungeons where you all uh, go in, yeah, they do ramp up in difficulty. At certain points, there's like walls, like for instance, the Las Vegas sewers right here are uh, very uh, difficult. Speaking about other aspects of the difficulty of the game here, the world's a very dangerous place here. If you're not careful, you get radiation poison or even be knocked out if you don't have any canteens. Now, what makes the game really difficult also is permanent death right here. You get the dead status. That character is basically gone, wiped out, just a husk. That you have to carry around. Yeah. In other words, permanent death does put you on edge. And that's really good. This game can get very difficult. And if you don't know what you're doing yet, the game will uh, actually beat you. So it makes you uh, improve on your tactics and more, which is uh, really uh, great. Now, let's talk about the graphics here. Chrome Studios knocked out of the ballpark once again. Besides the uh, wonderful portraits, they did a great job of the characters and the foes you uh, actually do face. The uh, overworld looks pretty nice and including also the towns and their uh, detail which is uh, great here. It's not like uh, today's graphics like uh, certain uh, big budget games but it's very well uh, drawn, well detailed and more. Even the cutscenes are great right here. It gets you really into the game. So Chrome Studios did knock out of the ballpark. They did in the Bard's Tale uh, trilogies remastered. They did in Wasteland remastered too. Now let's talk about the UI. It is really easy to use, really easy to access. Even the uh, menus are really easy to equip items and more. Now I am playing on the uh, PC version right here. And you can also on the keyboard use the uh, letters like U, E, O, and etc. Which is very good. I mean Chrome Studios did a great job of making the UI very easy from the original version. Overall the UI is great, fresh to use. And it's really uh, simple to uh, use in this uh, game here. Now, controls are really easy to use. On the PC version, you use WASD right here to move around. You can even uh, point and click on uh, certain objects when you're actually using items, which is very good. I mean, move around is so easy, so simple. And it's also top-down, which is uh, very uh, cool here. Really nice addition to... And combat's very easy. You can either uh, hit numbers right here on, for the controls or uh, click on them. Makes things a lot more simple. So yeah, it's like little to no hassle on the controls. Let's do talk about the story here. The story does set up the uh, world of Wasteland and it's really good. Now, before you even get to the creds, it shows you a nice little cutscene on what happened around 1998, which is an alternative version of that, where the United States versus the Soviet Union are fighting against each other. 
until nuclear war happened and yeah the earth got wrecked and then uh, fast forward to uh, many 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 years later and well things are uh, still messed up but you're surviving in the uh, deserts overall it does a great job wasteland remaster of telling the story here they even add some extra uh, things which is very nice the cutscenes made it definitely worth it to uh, advance the story here. Even the ending is great, which more on that later on in this review right here. Let's talk about the narrator in the game right here when you get in the cutscenes. That, that narrator is great right here. It has that uh, Southwest uh, feel to it, which is really good right here. So I'm gonna play an example of that right now. The Brakeman tells you, Take this Visa card and give it to Head Crusher and Quartz. As the Brakeman passes you the card, the sunlight catches the Dove hologram and glints brightly. You slide it into your breast pocket as he turns and leaves without another word. The narration right there is great and wonderful. Why skip it when it does uh, drive you further into the uh, wasteland world right here? So overall, the narration is great and wonderful for this uh, remastered. Let's talk about the sound and music of Wasteland Remaster right here. The sound is good, but the music it is great right here. It really gets you in the game. It gets you in the combat. It gets you wherever you explore at. And best of all is Base Code Cheese music right here. So I'm going to play each of the three right now. That right there is music of the three I decided to pick from uh, outside to uh, combat to base code cheese, which by the way is the best music in the game right here for an area that is great. Overall, the music and sounds wonderful in this uh, remastered version of Wasteland. Let's talk about combat here. It is great combat. It reminds you of the uh, Bar's Tale trilogy. However, it has a nice spin to it. Yeah, now, if you have like melee weapons, you have to move into melee range. Also, there's a nice uh, map feature right here. You hit the uh, map button or the uh, M button on the uh, PC right here. You get to see a uh, position where you and your foes are at. And even the uh, certain range weapons has three different types of firing right here. Where you have a single shot, burst shot, or you can empty a whole entire clip on enemies here. Which is really good. Also, you can level up your skills too, which is uh, great right here in the game too via combat and uh, more. So overall, they did a great job of the uh, combat system in this game. It's nice uh, breath of fresh air and uh, much, much uh, more. Let's talk about the uh, skill system in the game right here. If you keep on using uh, skills a certain way, you'll actually level them. For instance, if we keep on running around like this in the AG Center right here, we get to raise perception to a uh, level 2. You could do that. You could also in the menu right here, and for instance, if someone's on serious condition, use medic on that person who's in serious condition. And of course, if you uh, get lucky, you'll uh, level up too. What is great though is you could use skills in combat, which is a uh, really nice right here. And if your characters get lucky, then uh, certain uh, weapon skills does get leveled up. Like for instance, uh, energy weapons will uh, get leveled up. Of course, if your character uh, lands the uh, hit, yeah, see. Khan already got his energy uh, weapons to uh, level 3. So overall, it's like use it or uh, lose it. Yeah, in other words, you just got to keep on using those skills. And that's what I like about the game is the skill system right here, which is uh, great, which is really good. It defines your uh, characters uh, big time. Let's talk about the world of Wasteland. Oh my goodness, this is like really a good right here. There's so much dangers, like for instance, radiation. 
Stefano radiation marks right here with our rad suit. You'll get radiation poison. There's also uh, when you uh, walk around uh, a certain amount of times randomly. Yeah, folks will randomly uh, jump you. Not only like towns have so something like this. Also, uh, when you walk outside, it tells you it gets warm. It gets very hot. You don't have a canteen. Your characters could die of uh, of heat exertion right here. And that does bring the dangers in the world right here. I mean, there is so much in this game right here that's uh, very neat. Also, the time of day, too, is there in the game from day to night, night to uh, day, which is very neat. And even uh, places like Las Vegas makes this game really interesting. I mean, all you have to do in the world right here is just explore and have fun. That's what this game's all about. And best of all, there are some places that are great when you explore them. I mean, come on, they're great. Even Fat Freddy's Casino is like a wonderful place to make money in. And it's great to explore. So overall, the world of uh, Wasteland is great. It gets you invested in the game. And that's all that matters. Let's do talk about the uh, puzzles in this game right here. They're uh, genius right here. Some of the puzzles are good. And if you make a few mistakes, for instance, on this chess bar right here, yeah, foes will attack you, which is like really cool. Also, it puts you, the uh, fear into you. Also, uh, in the puzzles too is... You just got to talk to people. More people uh, you uh, talk to, eventually you'll get keywords. And some of those uh, keywords sometimes will become passwords, which is uh, very good. Also, what's uh, great is some of the key items in the game you find in areas. Like, for example, the sewers right here. You get to assemble uh, a nice android, which is good right here. I mean, the puzzle uh, in this game right here are great. Even the sleeper base, in order to uh, get inside a certain vault right here. That's a puzzle itself right here. So overall, Wasteland Remastered does have a wonderful uh, puzzle system in the game. With a classic feel to it that they did not alter at all. And that's important. Let's do uh, talk about the achievement system in the game right here. Most of them are uh, great right here. You do certain parts of the story, you gain an achievement. You gain certain skill levels, you gain an achievement. You recruit certain people, you gain an achievement. You level up in uh, combat uh, shooting, yeah, you gain an achievement for that too. Even the... Uh, rank system when you get certain ranks you get achievement for those too the only bad part about that is the rank system because those are really uh, grindy more on the grinding aspect later on however the great news is there's a save system you could abuse if you miss doing something a certain way or using an item a certain way well guess what you can load that up and uh, use it again and, uh, you can earn an achievement for it. overall the achievement system is wonderful and uh, great Let's talk about the dungeons and areas in this game right here. Oh man, they are great and wonderful. There are a few uh, gems that are uh, great. For instance, the uh, Las Vegas sewers. The Las Vegas sewers really challenge the party right here. You don't have a perfect build, but the Las Vegas sewers will eat you up. And there is more right here. Base coat cheese. Yeah, that base right there is great. Full of robots, full of danger. And there's a lot of great things you could do. Also, there are some good items you could get, too. I mean, this is great right here. So let's talk about the next areas. Now, let's talk about the Guardian Citadel right here. I call this Loot Central. And besides the uh, cool cutscene after you go through this area right here. Oh, man, it is great. It is worth a take a crack on. Now, let's talk about, last but not least, the uh, very best area in the game, I think, personally, is Sleeper Base right here. So what? It doesn't have a, whole, a lot of enemies in it. Instead, it has a lot of things you could do in it. You could learn to become a helicopter pilot. You could also learn about cloning. And what the best part about this uh, base right here is getting inside that vault right here. And uh, that's worth the experience. There's other great areas too, like the Temple of Blood, the Quartz Courthouse right here, the AG Center. And there's so many great areas in this uh, game here. Let's talk about Wasteland Remaster ending right here. Whatever actions you've done during the story right here will also be uh, dictated during the end of the uh, game right here, which is really good right here. So, for instance, you decide to uh, just say, uh, instead of help out Farron Brigo, you, you go ahead and kill him here. What happens is that will get told in the ending here. Yeah, Wasteland Remaster definitely extended that. I mean, there's so many uh, different things you can do in the game. And it will get recorded in the ending here. So basically, whatever you uh, do in the game right here will be at the end. And with the remaster edition, it does a great job of that. 
And that's what's great about this uh, game here is the uh, ending. Now, let's talk about what's wrong with this game here. The very first thing you notice that's missing are uh, macros. Now, macros in the game right here, you set certain uh, keystrokes up, and then you can push one button and just keep on mining it up. And that's a disappointment. There's none in the game to do that. Instead, you have to go through uh, each uh, sequence right here of certain items or certain skills you got to use over and over again. And it can wear on you instead of just a simple push of a button right here. So overall, I was disappointed that Chrome Studios didn't initially add it when they first released this game out. Let's do talk about the bugs and glitches. Oh my goodness, there are still some there. And there's some that will either get you stuck in combat or you have to uh, redo some of your uh, moves. Also, there's a few uh, uh, quests that are still bugged. A little and then even the Xbox one version got hit with the bugs I kind of wish the developers would have spent a little bit more time fixing the issues before releasing the uh, game let's do talk about the portraits in this game right here it's a problem here it's a serious problem most of the enemies look the same on some of the creatures for instance you find bunnies they are supposed to look like bunnies instead they look like rats I kind of wish the developers would actually would have did was uh, replace the uh, rat portrait and put the bunny in. Also, uh, when you create characters, yeah, if you create, say, four uh, male Americans, yeah, they all look the same. I kind of wish they did like they did in the uh, Bard's Tale uh, trilogy was is add the option of having different portraits. So hopefully they do patch it up. Otherwise, it's a bit of a disappointment for uh, this part of the game here I'm reviewing. Now, let's talk about what's missing in Wasteland Remaster right here, restarting the game right here. When you uh, beat the game in the original uh, edition, well, guess what? After you uh, beat the game, you get to restart. And that was great because, for instance, this village right here I'm exploring, you want to wipe out the uh, people in it for their AR weapons, yeah, well, you could go ahead when you restart it. Not in the remaster edition right here. Nope. You beat the game, you beat the game, and that's it. I was disappointed on a feature that was in the original, got left out in this uh, version. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room right here. How you gain experience points in combat, and also the grind of it. And this game can be very grindy, and some people might hate that. Me, I don't mind, but still others might hate it. As far as also gaining experience points in battle, it is not equal. In the Barstel Trilogy, you'll kill, say, a uh, Nolem here. Everybody gains 100 experience points. Note, in this game, you'll kill this uh, Vermin here. Whoever gets the killing blow gets the experience points. This was a glaring issue from the original game that got ported over to the remastered edition. I kind of wish they would have spread out the experience points, but it is what it is, which is a disappointment. So, what's the final verdict for Wasteland Remastered? Let me tell everybody. Buy it day one! So, despite the uh, issues and problems that Wasteland Remaster has, like for instance, stuff they have taken out from the original game to some bugs and errors, this was like a great gem. They did so much uh, work and they put so much uh, love in the game. Like for example, the uh, cutscenes. The uh, graphics, they did a nice overhaul the UI, and they didn't touch anything that's important, which is the uh, fun of the, the uh, dungeons, like, for instance, Sleeper Base, the skill system, and even character creation. I felt they did a great job of leaving it alone. Well, this is it for my review of Wasteland Remastered. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day or night.